Hello and welcome again to another episode of The High Techman. I'm your High Techman. I am Ken Chan. And today I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step approach for file sharing. I'm using certain Linux distros. Um, okay, and what are those distros? I'm talking about Linux Mint 17.1, Zubuntu 14.04 and 15.04, Lubuntu 14.04 and 15.04. This approach has been tested on those and it works on those and I've done it on those. First step we are going to do this without altering code. Um, this, the, pro, the process I'm going to show you there is no code altering involved. Um, uh, just going to show you basically what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to have a share on your computer that the other computers on your network can see that they can take from. Okay, And, and the same will work on the other computers if you set this up right. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to download or make sure that we have actually these two files, GKSU and FSFTPD. Okay, and if you're not sure if you have either of those, you can just open up your terminal and then you can say sudo apt get install. GKSU. I hit enter. And it wants my password. We do that and it does this. Now, of course, I already have this, so it tells me GKSU is already the, the newest version. This GKSU thing is something that I, I read somewhere that um, it used to come stock with um, a lot of the Linux distros, at least that's what that's what I saw. This VSFTPD thing. Um, this is what allows you, this is the thing that allows you to be able to share files. Um, if you download, if, if you do everything without this, you still won't be able to share files, so you have to have this. It's some kind of, it's a, it's a file that enables it. The next step is to download Gigolo and Samba. Gigolo is a, a program that allows you to see the other computers on your home network. Samba is a program that allows you to create a share that the other computers under your network can see. Now, they can see you. You have to put one of these. Every computer has to be able to do both. Okay, so you install both of these, Gigolo and Samba, and you do again sudo apt get install. We'll say Gigolo. Okay, and then you'd hit return. Okay, um, and follow the instructions. Just, just, just read it and watch it go. And eventually, it'll come back around to you at your computer. So, if I enter that, it does this crap, and it tells me that uh, it's already the newest version of Gigolo. Also, <laughs> okay. So, and you do the same for Samba repeat process sudo app get install samba now for the lubuntu's and the um, the linux mint you're good you're going to be able to find your gigolo and your samba and get them up and and and, and, and you're going to be able to start them um, uh, on zubuntu 14.04 you'll also be able to when you get to zubuntu 15.04 uh, that's when you run into a problem uh, you'll when you download samba you'll go look for it won't be there. Okay, so for that, you have to then go in here and you have to put this in to your terminal. Open a terminal. Pseudo touch. Two spaces here. Slash etc. Slash libuser dot conf. And that. Um, when you do that, after that runs out and you, you let it let it do its thing, you'll be able to find, you'll be able to go into your start button. Uh, I forget what they call it on, on uh, Zubuntu. It's basically the same as the menu button here, except it's at the, it defaults at the top. Um, and you open it up and that's where all your stuff, uh, you, you, you know, your, your stuff like this is. Now, so, comes down from the top. So, and then you'll, you'll be able to find your Samba up there just fine. 
So, and that'll take care of that problem. Now, there's another way that you can download these apps, Gigolo and Samba. You can also go into your menu button or, you know, on, on Zubuntu and Lubuntu, you know, same, there's a button there that does this kind of thing on all of them. Um, and you can find your software manager or your, you know, the, the app store thing, whatever it is, it's in there. You'll see it, if you, it, it same way I found it here, it, it'll be in a similar thing on Zubuntu and Lubuntu. So you click that and it's going to want your password. Then you get this, and easiest thing to do since you know the names of these things, just open up all packages, and you type in like uh, Gigolo, return, and there it is, boom. Okay, and we can we can look at it and read. It'll tell you details about it, but it's you know it's Gigolo. Okay, and you can do the same with Samba. You'll find it. In so let's go ahead and minimize this and minimize this and I don't know if we need to well, leave the terminal open anyway. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to open, I've taken the liberty of putting Gigolo on my panel. Uh, this is Linux Mint right here by the way, 17.1 um, in case you didn't notice that. Um, but this is where I put my Gigolo. You can also find it in here. You know fastest way for me is always just under all applications gigolo boink whatever so that's where that is um so we we, we open this and here's this now i have this set up to automatically connect to um certain things so and they're all connecting to them but what you know basically what you want to do i'm just going to go ahead and, and disconnect these Okay. okay, here's where it might get a little complicated. Um, I know that there's ways to do this on Linux, but I am a Linux noob, so I don't know how to do it exactly. Um, I, to, I, you have to find your um, IP addresses for your internal machines. Okay, And it'll look like something like 10.0.0.7, for example. Okay, so... Um, how I found these, uh, the easiest way for me to find these and to, you know, check them to make sure that they, you know, that nothing's moved, um, I, I'm using KitKat. So uh, you get um, File Manager HD on KitKat. If you just tap that open and go to, there's a little button for network on there, okay? You hit the network button and then a scan wouldn't do me much good to show you all this but just basically you want to have some method of getting your your, your internal um, IP addresses so this is coming back it's giving me a return I have a 10.0.0.5 a 10.0.0.7 a 10.0.0.14 okay currently that I can connect to that you know have specific IP addresses on this network so I'll just show you one very specifically. I'm going to connect to the second computer. I have another computer right here. Uh, you can't see it, but it's because you're looking at my screen. But um, so let's go ahead and we're going to hit connect. And we're going to use FTP for now. So, but this is this is just the bare bones way, real easy way to do this. Okay, FTP server. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to pick from my network 10 point. 0 0.0.14 because I know that that's the address for this other computer and that's what they mean by server um, and the port when you're using FTP you use port 21 I think SSH is 22 or something like that um, and then of course you put in the username which is me I use my name for all that so doink and bam there it is Okay, now we have it at the point where we're sharing with the other devices. This is a WD MyCloud. This is the other computer. So let's go ahead and connect to that. We do that by the, the oh, these also show up over here on Mint. You'll see these show up. 
um, on Subuntu, you'll see uh, it looks like a, a Wi-Fi symbol, only it's blue. Okay, that'll pop up on, on the um, on the panel. So we we double click our home, and there we are. We're shared, and there's the stuff. I can go, boom, 1014. There it is. There's all the stuff. 05. This is um, the WD My Cloud. This is this is accessible also outside of here and that's where all that is so that's how that works and when you do this with your other computers as well then they can all see each other and they can all help each other out you know you uh, if you put something on one computer you can have it on all of them really quickly okay now that we've activated Gigolo we want to get Samba going now here we go, we're going to open up Samba. Okay, and, and these are shares right here. Um, and you create a share real simply. You just do this, and you get a directory going. Okay, you can browse. The directory, basically, with, with the directory, what you're telling it is what part, you know, what part of the, of the, uh, of the computer do you want to share, you know, what files. So we browse here, and we'll say, let's say we want to um, and go into this. We want to share my downloads. Maybe there's something. Oh, no, there's nothing in there. Huh? Let's just say we want to share this. Okay. There it is. And we just hit OK, and it puts it in there. Okay. Um, you can put a description or not. Make it writable, visible. You know. Uh, and allow access to everyone. Um, if you trust everyone on your network, um, adjust these settings accordingly. I mean, read them carefully. If there's, you know, writable means they can change it. Visible means that other machines can see it. Um, not only um, will your other computer see it, but your your phone. If you're using Android, at least I know for sure, you'll be able to find it. Uh, you'll be able to find it, you know, on, on, on the file manager. Um, so, okay, that's done. So we say okay, and that adds that to that line then. Okay. Um, I don't need this because this is already inside of this. <laughs> you click on it, you can uh, right click or left click, whatever, and, and this will come up. You, you can go up and down the list. Um, and But this, this will delete the selected directory, so boom, that gets rid of that. Okay, and that is Samba, and there you have that. Now uh, we have accomplished our goal of networking machines, and you do this on all your computers, and they will be able to communicate with other with each other just fine. Okay, so there we have it. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.